The meeting of hand meat has plagued human society for thousands of years, where it served as an ancient gesture of peace and a promise not to rape and pillage each other's village. But since at least the 17th century, it served as an awkward and obligatory daily greeting. From the vice-like crunch of the try-hard alpha male to the snot-sprayed lobster claw pinch of the terminally awkward, the handshake is pointless and sometimes sticky. Thankfully though, it might be on the way out. Coronavirus may have taken our jobs, grandmas and functional societies away, but at least it's taking the handshake down too. This is the earliest surviving depiction of a finger fondling. An ancient relief of King Shalamesa III rubbing palms with a Babylonian buddy to prove that they were on good terms. And today, the role of handshakes among the powerful is basically unchanged. But instead of being immortalized in the very stone, we watch them through the unfiltered zoom lens of news media twats, who try to turn hand flappery into high stakes geopolitical dick measuring. Like this one from The Telegraph, titled Most Awkward Political Handshake Ever? Question <laughs> mark? That's literally just a handshake. Or there's this one in Time, a magazine named after what they're wasting with this video. Over at Tech Insider, they've even hired a self-proclaimed body language expert to tell you what handshakes really mean. And Abe likes him. And you can tell this because Abe is leaning his body into Trump. His toes are pointed in Trump's direction. There are no secret feelings in your feet. Now. He was straight up perpendicular in terms of his body language, which showed that he was neutral. Yeah, that does tend to happen when you're stood up, posing for a photo. How do you become a body language specialist anyway? Well, apparently in this expert's case, it's by writing illuminating books on human nature like 50 Ways My Dog Made Me a Better Person and How to Deprogram Your Valley Girl. At least we can rely on the China Global Television Network to tell it like it is. Showing us world leaders waiting their turn to pose and grind digits with Xi Jinping like he's dressed up as Goofy or perhaps another character owned by Disney. Perhaps the highest stakes handshakes of all time occur next to a literal minefield at the Korean demilitarized zone. A place that only seems to be used as an edgy photo op for world leaders and trust fund backpackers on Instagram. Once again though, what happened here? Unless Kim was tapping trade negotiations in Morse code onto Moon's hand, nothing. These handshake pantomimes are a waste of everybody's time, and yet there are still so many ways that they can go wrong. In the 1800s, the Victorians got a hold of the handshake and first spread the disease of proper handshake etiquette, with multiple guides from the era all telling you the appropriate way to crunch fingies. There's the milady, accidentally grabbing the front of your fellow shaker's fingers like you're gonna lay a little kiss on it. Mwah. There is the moist mistake, where someone has insisted on a handshake despite their own meat racket being covered in sweat. There's the accidental fisting, where you crash your front fingers into the brick wall of your assailant's unexpected fist bump. Or there's the twister, where someone flips your hand over, asserting their dominance and making you aware of their crushing need to be on top. Still, those lot are eclipsed by the greatest handshake twats of all, those who insist on doing it all secret-like. What began as a union for stoneworkers and cathedral chiselers in medieval England has slowly morphed into a club for powerful businessmen who like to dress up as cult members. And these guys have a couple of totally secret handshakes that they use at their eyes wide shut reenactments. While there are many conspiracies about the Freemasons, centering on how they secretly rule the world or eat babies or whatever, they're mostly just a club for men who never really outgrew their Boy Scout phase. Yeah. Instead of wearing badges and a uniform though, they wear a dick towel and gaudy jewellery. Although it looks like these guys are going to let more people in on their secret handshake, as their membership is dwindling. They even considered themselves a discriminated group, launching this awareness campaign in the British press. Apparently they are so desperate for new members that they've used their secret Illuminati powers to buy YouTube ad space for this commercial. 
what starts as an homage to the lost opening credits turns into this big-shouldered hunk taking you on a ride through the exciting world of Freemasonry. So, what do you know about Freemasonry? He has his friends and I have my friends, but uh, you know, but we get on together well. Yeah, I'm a bit of, I think I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie really, yeah. um, <laughs> to say the least. It's fun being a Freemason because you get to do stuff that you wouldn't normally do. Secret fingering techniques aside though, the main problem with handshakes is that they're all germy. Surprising no one, multiple studies have proven that handshakes are much worse disease spreaders than alternative greetings like a fist bump or a high five. Of course, this is basic common sense. I'm shaking hands continuously. I was at a, I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. To the experts, but, but our, judge, our judgment is wash. Uh, washing your hands is the crucial thing. Just one standard coronavirus incubation period later, also known as a week, BJ was a lungs whisper away from being on a ventilator. Has enough time passed that I can make fun of the PM for nearly dying? Honestly, I don't really know. I've been in this corona bunker for so long, I don't even remember what all the days of the week are called. What I do know, though, is that handshakes are officially on pause for everyone who knows what's good for them. But what are the alternatives? Some have already migrated to the fist bump, but national health advisors don't encourage that either. People in Wuhan quickly adopted the foot shake, but I don't think we should let anything else spread from there just on principle. Earlier in the pandemic and several lifetimes ago, the elbow bump was being touted as the next big thing in arm-based salutations. The elbow greeting rather, which is this. Bah! Kicking the handshake habit isn't easy for everyone though. Here, Dutch PM Mark Rutt announces that handshakes in his country are verboten. And then, this is what he does, approximately 30 seconds later. Oh, sorry, come back in here. Sorry, sorry. They, they, oh, oh, over, over, over. Oh, over. Sure. Yeah. Now it seems that health officials have turned against all touchy-feely greetings altogether. But honestly, I'm fine with this. I mean, what's everyone's obsession with touching anyway? If you want to touch something, get a cat. Habits are hard to break, though, and some people do seem to get something out of physically interacting with their fellow hand havers. And if you're one of these people and you just really love handshaking that much, then I say, go for it. That way, on a long enough time scale, there will be fewer of you eventually, and I will have to interact with you less and will have this stupid ritual pushed on me less often. <laughs>